Hello everybody, so today's video is going to be the third video of my series of videos that I'm doing where I do a different coloured inspired makeup look and today's is pink which is why I'm wearing a pink jumper right now. So I'm filming this video in my bathroom because I'm kind of wanting to not get all my lights out and anything recently because I've got so much to do in the day. So I'm just going to be in my bathroom for the next few videos but I'm actually going to take you through all of my makeup so every single step of my makeup the first video that i did the one where i did my red makeup look i showed you everything and then the second one i just did my eye look but today i want to do everything so keep on watching let's bring you in closer okay so my skin isn't looking too bad it's actually okay at the minute i'm gonna start off with this primer this is the aloe vera gel which is actually not really a primer it's supposed to be a moisturizer and i'm just gonna pop a bit of that onto my face it's literally so hydrating and so cooling so yeah this is really really nice and it makes your skin feel really tacky so yeah, my face has gone and matched the colour. Oh my god, my face is pinker than my jumper. Um, but it does die down, as you can see, really, really quickly. So I'm actually going to use, for foundation today, the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. Mine is in the shade 10 Ivory, but I do have to mix it with some lightning drops. These are the Revolution Pro Foundation Mixers. So these are the lightning drops because that's too dark but you know it works really really well so i'm just going to take a pump of this onto my hand and then i'm just going to get a drop of this and just mix that in all of my foundations are too dark for me and that isn't because my skin's really really pale it's because i tend to buy foundations that are too dark for me just because i've got the lightning drops so give it a good old mix round and then i'm just going to dot that around my face like this when I was younger, I always wanted like loads of coverage because I had acne. So I wanted to cover like all my spots and everything. These days, I do like full coverage because this foundation is definitely full coverage. It's amazing. But these days, I'm happy to just not wear any foundation or I'm happy to wear a really, really light one. So it doesn't really bother me too much about coverage, but this foundation is amazing coverage. So I'm just gonna spray my brush with a bit of setting spray just because I like it to be a little bit moist. Ooh, that's nice. Um, yeah, I like the brush to be a little bit wet before I actually apply product. If you have acne or if you have sort of, I don't know, discolored skin or anything like that and you want to try a full coverage foundation, I would highly recommend the Maybelline Superstay foundation because it covers so well. I have actually been doing a lot of workouts recently and I think that does actually benefit your skin so, so much like eating healthily, working out, drinking lots of water, obviously your skincare as well. And I have just posted a skincare video. So if you wanna go and watch that, then I'll link it down below. But I do think that my workouts have really benefited me in so many different ways, mentally, physically, and also um, skincare wise. So yeah, I've really been enjoying a good old workout and I actually get so motivated to work out. I am filming a video on that. So that should be going up very soon on my channel. Um, I'm gonna film my workout routine. Okay, I'm now gonna go in with concealer and I'm using my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C1 and this is, I believe, the lightest shade that they do. I'm just gonna pop that sort of underneath my eye, kind of just gently around my face. I don't like to put too much on, like it's literally just to highlight my face. If you've noticed, I put it in the areas of my face that you kind of want to highlight and like bring forward, if you know what I mean. It's, it's hard to explain, but it does also add a lot of coverage, which is good. By the way, I'm using this palette just because it's got a really good mirror in it, just to blend this in. So I'm just gonna gently buff this in with my brush. I find that if you buff in like foundation and concealer rather than kind of swipe it, um, it gives a better finish and also more coverage. So you can see that the difference between the two sides, like it's really, really, really good. I'm actually going to uni in literally a week, like a week tomorrow I'm going to uni. It is the uni near my house, so I am not moving out. I am remaining at home. No, I, did, I wanted to stay in my hometown. They do the course that I wanted to do. Why the heck would I want to move out if I can just stay at home, do you know what I mean? Like, it just costs extra money and it's more stress. So yeah, I'm quite happy to be remaining at home. I am gonna be obviously doing videos. I think I'm gonna vlog my first week of uni, which is obviously Freshers' Week. 
Um, I'm going to vlog bits and bobs, you know, not really me there, just kind of me talking about how I'm finding the week and everything like that. So that is my face done. I do look slightly ghostly on camera, but trust me, in real life, it's not as bad. I'm now going to powder because that is essential when you have oily skin like me. And I'm literally using this um, powder from Poundland. It's the Makeup Gallery Pressed Powder. And this is actually amazing. It's in the shade Translucent Number 1. And love this. It really does mattify. So I'm going to take some of that and just kind of pat it onto my face. You always want to pat your powder on rather than swipe because if you're swiping a powder on top of kind of a liquid and by the meanings of a liquid I mean my foundation and concealer, it's just going to get all cakey and it's just going to swipe it all together and it's going to move your base and you don't want it to. So if you just press it on top, it just sort of mattifies over the top of what you've just done. Now I'm going to use bronzer and I do actually have two bronzers that I use. One of them's matte and the other one's shimmery, which is why I like to use both of them. This one's from MUA. I got it years ago, so it's quite old, but I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush. And what you want to do is you kind of want to just work it sort of into your hairline almost. And if you work it into your hairline and then bring it down, it looks a lot more natural than if it's just a block of colour here. And then onto my cheeks. I never like to put too much product on. So I don't like to kind of just fill my face, you know, with load of bronzer. I like to make every product subtle, but I do apply a lot of products as you might see in this video. Like I said at the beginning, this isn't my usual video setup. I do have studio lights and everything like that, but I am not using them at the minute due to lack of time um, for, you know, wanting to get them out and stuff like that. So I will be sorting that out very, very soon. And the second bronzer I'm using is this one from Natural Collection. It's Sun Tint Bronzing Pearls in the shade Tropical Tan. Th these are actually really, really good. And I just dip my brush in and then just tap off excess and it adds colour but it also adds a little bit of a shimmer and I think because my base is so matte it's quite nice to add a little bit of shimmer. Like I said it's, it's only something subtle but you know with me it's the subtle differences that I really like. Okay so that's that literally done. My face is looking a little less ghostly and a little more defined. I'm now going to take my Natural Collection Contouring Palette and literally i've had this for absolute years this is the contouring powder i'm going to use and i'm just going to take a little bit of that and just kind of pop it up my cheek and you can see how that really does chisel your cheekbone um, and i am going to blend that out in a second don't worry and then under the jawline and then i do pop a little under my chin and then sometimes i do down my nose but that is quite risky because, you know, it can look a bit weird on your nose if you don't blend it out properly. Now, for blusher, I'm using this blusher from Bourjois. This is... Oh, for, all the information about this blusher is rubbed off. So, it's just a blusher from Bourjois. Are you home? Oh, I thought that was mum. My brother. Um, so, yeah, I'm just using this blusher from Bourjois. Stop sniffing! The pigmentation is not the best, so you have to keep rubbing like the brush into the product to actually get something to come out. But I actually do really, really like the colour. It's kind of like a peachy pink, which is my kind of vibe. I always feel like blusher is something that should be more of a peachy colour rather than a pinky. I just feel like it looks a bit more natural that way. Yes, I am going to blend this out, don't worry. Now for highlighter, I'm using my W7 Glow Commotion Shimmer Highlighter. This is more of a goldy shade and I'm just going to take this. I bought this when I was on holiday with my friends to Bridlington. I'll link down the holiday vlogs if you haven't seen them um, with my friends because we did vlog on that holiday. And I bought this and I've not stopped using it since because I really like it. So yeah, I just kind of take that up the high points of my face just to highlight. As you can see, it highlights really, really nicely. I don't like to apply too much because I feel like on camera, a highlighter looks good. In real life, you can really, you know, if someone's got too much highlighter on, you can see it. Now I'm going to use this Beauty Big Bang sort of eyebrow pencil spoolie thing. I'm going to just use the spoolie. I do have a code for their makeup brand. So I'll link down Beauty Big Bang's website and the code that I have I'll leave on screen for, you know, money off. I think it's like 15% off. 
So go and have a look. This video is not in collaboration with them. I've done plenty of videos for them. Those codes are still valid. Okay, so I'm gonna do my brows first before eyeshadow. I usually do it the other way around, but these days I've been liking it to be brows first. So I've got this angled brush here and I'm just gonna kind of get rid of any product. It literally looks like this. And I'm gonna take this pomade here, which says Veroni on it. I think I just picked it up off Amazon sort of really, really cheap. And it's like a little pomade. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do my brows, but on camera, it's a lot more difficult than you would think. I always find it weird that literally at beauty gurus, like really kind of famous beauty gurus, don't do their brows on camera because they say it goes wrong. I'm sorry, but I literally have like 3,000 subscribers and I can happily do my brows on camera. Like, I'm sure they could, they just can't be bothered. I know it's a little bit more difficult than, you know, the usual setup, but I'm sure you could try. And I'm just gonna kind of take that down the wing. I like my brows to be quite defined, and kind of like quite angled. Sometimes I go for more of a natural look and I use different products for that, which I'll probably show in future makeup tutorials. It just depends how I'm feeling on the day, really. So that's quite angled. I'm not finished, by the way, but you can see the difference between the two brows. I know that some people prefer more of kind of natural looking brows and they don't like the look of kind of fake eyebrows, but you know, each to their own. I have got some um, sort of new videos upcoming, obviously, you know, I'm uploading videos all the time. I do tend to upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. I aim for 5 p.m. Quite recently that hasn't been happening. I'm not too sure why. I just haven't been able to get that time, you know, get videos up for that time. But yeah, I've got a workout routine coming up. I've got a video on my tips to be happy. So happiness tips. So if you've got any ideas and leave them down below. Also, if you got any ideas as to what color I should do next, because somebody did actually comment last time that I should do pink or purple. So I am doing pink now and I think purple will come very, very soon. I'm gonna do as many colors as I want to really. I'm even gonna do yellow. Might even do black, which doesn't count as a colour, but it, it is a colour. It's a shade. I'm still going to do it. Then I'm going to take this eyebrow palette here. This is from Primark, and I have, I've had this for ages. I've had all of my products for ages. I don't... I rarely buy new makeup unless it's like foundation. But I'm going to take this darker shade here. I'm just going to dab that on my brush. And I like to just pop that on the inner part of my eyebrow to kind of give more of a like ombre effect. You've got to be super gentle because you don't want to make it look fake. Obviously, you don't want to make it look faker than it already is. I really want to try those Maybelline eyebrow tints. My friend Steph bought them and basically she like, it's like a sort of eyebrow tattoo type thing. Like it's almost like you're getting your eyebrows microbladed, but at home it like dyes your eyebrows for like, I don't know, a couple of weeks or something like that. So I want to try that and see if it's good or if it works or anything like that. I'm sure with me they won't last that long because I do wash my face quite a lot and I do a full skincare routine and everything like that and I use a lot of face masks. Okay, there's my brows done. I don't think they're looking too bad. I've seen worse, I've seen worse. Um, so yeah, eyebrows done. I know they look quite striking, but shows my personality. Um, I'm not a striking person, if that's what you got from that comment. I don't really know what I meant. But yeah, I'm now gonna do eyeshadow, which is basically what this whole video is all about. And I'm just gonna kind of clean my brush because for some reason, there's lots of eyeshadow still on it. I have three eyeshadow palettes today because I'll, I've, they've all got pinks in them and stuff like that. I'm going to go into my Soph X Revolution eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take the shade Penguin, which is this really pale white shade, just as an absolute base for makeup. In fact, I might bring you in even closer. How concerning. Maybe you're a little closer than that. Oh my God. Hello. Welcome to my show. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pop that white shade on. I'm gonna take the shade Peaches, which is this pinky shade just here, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and I'm gonna work that into my crease as a transition shade. Transition shades basically blend everything together, so it just means that you don't have harsh colors and it means that everything can kind of blend outwards and just look more, I don't know, smooth. And you can kind of see, I always like doing transition. I don't really know why, it just, it's the first eyeshadow and it just looks nice. 
Okay, I'm gonna go in with my NYX blush palette and this is actually meant for blusher. Well, these are blushers basically, but they've got a ton of pinks in them. So I'm gonna use some of these pinks down here. I think I'm gonna take this shade and this shade and I'm actually gonna pop that kind of, sort of where that transition shade is. Just go kind of over the top just to really start off the pink. By the way, I always tap my brush off after I've got some eyeshadow just to get rid of any fallout. I'm gonna take this pink shade called Strawberry Sweet from uh, my Sofex Revolution palette. And wow, that's a lot of product. Look at that. Oh. And I'm just gonna pop that completely over the lid. Like this. Okay, so I've just kind of popped that all over my lid and obviously it looks very, very pink. I'm gonna go in my other Soph palette. This is the Soph X Revolution Extra Spice palette. And I'm gonna take the shade 21, which is this kind of ready pink here. And I'm just gonna take a bit of that kind of in sort of more sort of the half point here. Do you know what I mean? And like into the crease. It's hard to explain. But yeah, just kind of focusing on this outer half. And then like this. I'm going to take the shade every day from this palette. And I'm just going to use my finger. And I'm just literally going to pop that on the inner corner of my eye. Like this. Can you see that? Some people could do this as a cut crease. So, you know, put concealer on and then put the eyeshadow on top. But I think this is pigmented enough to just, you know, put straight on. And then to finish us off, I'm gonna go in with a couple of browns. I'm gonna use these two browns down here, which are called Mug Cake and Rosewood. I'm just gonna mix them two together. And I am just gonna buff that into the absolute outer corner. And you can see it gives so much definition. And it just, I don't know, makes your eyes look a little bit more 3D. I'm not sure. I'm, I think I'm going to take this pink shade just here and I'm literally just going to pop that underneath. I'm not going to go kind of fancy or anything. We're just going to keep it very simple. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to take the shade every day from this other Soap palette, just like this. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush and then I'm just going to pop a tad of that sort of on the inner corner, inner part of my eye. I don't like to put too much on because I don't like the look of too much sort of inner corner highlight. So I'm now gonna take my mascara. The mascara that I'm using is this one here from Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Scandalized Wow Wings. I do have my eyelash curlers, so I might just curl them a little. Also, I have um, been driving quite a lot recently. I am getting a lot better at my driving, which I'm really happy about. I'm really progressing a lot more than I thought. Um, I might not look like I'm getting any better, but I feel a lot more confident. So to me, that's progression because I feel a lot more confident, you know, at the wheel. Also, when you do mascara, I like to do a little kind of coat and then kind of wiggle the brush up and that just adds a little bit more volume and I just kind of keep going over it. And then you also want to kind of brush at the ends and that gives more length. But yeah, my driving's going well. I haven't even had one lesson yet. My dad is teaching me, which I think a lot of people are like, wow, how can you like spend so much time driving just from being taught by your dad? But it is possible and it saves a lot of money. We will start lessons, you know, at some point but I do want to do my theory first. So we've got a couple of theory books and I'm going to be revising for that. But obviously I've got uni coming up and stuff like that. So I've got a lot of stressful things happening. So I don't want to stress myself out too much. Right, I'm now going to go in with lipstick and I'm literally down here, I've got seven lipsticks, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with this Max Factor kind of lip gloss type thing and this is just kind of the base like it's quite creamy and it's just nice as a lipsticky base i'm gonna go in with this one which is from 
um, Bonnie Choice. I have a code with their makeup. Again, I'll link this brand down below and leave the code on screen for their makeup. Um, but this is an amazing lipstick, great quality. And it's kind of like a peachy pink colour. And I'm going to take my lip liner which is this here, and I'm just gonna use some of this, uh, sorry, I'm taking my lip liner brush, and I'm gonna use some of that lipstick just to go around my lips to kind of make them a bit more seamless. Some people ask me if I overline my lips. Yes, a little. Sometimes I overline my lips a little bit too much, um, but I don't tend to un uh, um, overline the bottom, it's mainly the top. And I am gonna go over with a gloss on top. I'm gonna use this one here, which is from Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Lip Art, at Lip Art, and it's a top coat. It's in the shade Blush Gold. And I'm just gonna pop this on, it's super shimmery. So I'm now just gonna use my setting spray. This setting spray is from the collection, my Primed and Ready setting spray. And I'm just gonna spray my face. Okay, I don't like to put too much on. Um, and then I just like to blend that out using this um, little sponge here. No kind of little bits and bobs on your face. So this is the completed, finished, pink inspired makeup look. I am really, really happy with how it turned out. I will zoom you in in a second and do close up clips and all that kind of thing. But yeah, really, really super happy with how this turned out. I particularly like the eyes. I didn't want to do anything kind of too drastic with the lips. I wanted to keep it quite simple, but yeah, I like how it kind of matches my jumper. So this is my take on a pink makeup look. Let me know down below any other colours that you would like me to do, and I will do them for you. I do have, you know, every, I will be doing every single colour, but basically which one shall I do next effectively. So give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe down below, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.